Hi guys and welcome back to another video now today What I'm going to bring you is a Cambridge United versus Bradford City vlog Now just before we get into today's video if you could drop a like on it Let's try and go for 70 likes on today's video Subscribe if you are new as well I am trying to hit 5,000 subscribers before the end of the football season So if you could subscribe that would be massively massively appreciated Now today it is the first game in 25 days Our first game of 2021 Hopefully fingers crossed it doesn't get postponed Today is Cambridge away We are away to top of the league it's going to be a very very difficult game today we've got a couple of injury doubts in terms of Lee Novak and Harry Pritchard hopefully they're both fit but if not we have perfect replacements now we have obviously Danny Rowe Jordan Stevens is a good winger and all that sort of stuff now team news is in about 10-15 minutes we'll have to see hopefully what the team is going to be hopefully it's a good one hopefully it's attacking so I don't want us to really sit back and play for the point but with it being our first game in 25 days it'll be interesting to see if we are lethargic or we're just very very energetic it'll obviously take a bit of a toll on us and we might not be able to full match sharpness and all that sort of stuff so it might take us a little bit to settle into the game but yeah make sure you leave a like and subscribe and let's get on with today's team news before we get on to the team news, actually, I just want to point out that, yes, I am recording on my phone. My camera still doesn't work, so for vlogs, for the time being, whilst we're in lockdown, so I can't go get it fixed, um, the vlogs will have to be on my phone. Unfortunately, the quality shouldn't be, you know, it's not the end of the world, but it'll just have to do for now, I guess. There's nothing I can really do until lockdown's over and I can go get my camera fixed. Team news is now out then, and this is how the Bantams line up. It's a 4-2-3-1, Lee Novak and Harry Pritchard both. Don't make the squad, they're both not fit. The team then is Hornby in goal. Finkels and Dawson, Anthony O'Connor, Paddy O'Connor is the captain, and Connor Wood make up the defence. Levi Sutton and Elliot Watt as the holding midfielders. Billy Clark on the right, Callum Cook in the number 10 position. Gareth Evans on the left-hand side is fourth league start of the season. That leaves the main man, the new signing, our... New bagsman up front, Danny Rowe. Unfortunately, there is no Lee Novak today, so it is Danny Rowe's chance to lead the line and hopefully bag on his debut. On the bench, and that leaves Will Huffer, Niall Canavan, Clayton Donaldson, Jordan Stevens, Tyler French, Ruman Burrell and Kean Skills. Only one of our new signings is starting, but the rest of them are on the bench. It's a pretty strong team, to be fair. I know Cambridge, they've got Wes Houlihan and Paul Mullin and a couple of other good players starting. So it's going to be a very, very tough game today. I'm still going to stay with my 1-1 score prediction. I'm going to go with Danny Rowe and Harvey Nibs to score for Cambridge. The conditions down at Cambridge are a little bit hectic. This is from Simon Parker. It's snowing. We've not played in 25 days. Hopefully this game doesn't get called off or even abandoned. But it is absolutely bouncing it down with snow and we're in our silver kit with white numbers on the back so that's going to be very hard to tell who is who hopefully they've got the the yellow slash orange ball out as well but yeah it's not looking good in terms of pitch conditions but you know we did well when we played on a poor pitch when we played Tramia. okay so the laptop wouldn't connect to the internet but we are now underway i missed the first 40 seconds so I know that there was no uh, BBC Radio Leeds coverage for away games while we're in lockdown, but there also appears to be no home coverage. There's no coverage from the home commentators. And we've got it turned on, so who knows what's happening now. Right, so 14 minutes in, Cambridge's keeper is currently down receiving treatment. Still nil nil. We've actually started pretty well. We've got a couple of shots off with a limited Cambridge to not really that much, but we need to be able to uh, keep this up, sustain it for the full 90 minutes. But so far, 14 minutes gone, still nil nil. It's been a pretty positive start. It looks like the Cambridge keeper is coming off. He's holding his shoulder. He looks in a bit of pain, so it can only be a positive for us if they're having to bring their backup keeper on because 99% of the time, the backup keeper is never going to be as good as the first choice keeper. He's not even got his gloves on. He looks like he just got out of bed. He dropped his gloves on the floor. <laughs> he don't even. It looks like he don't even have a clue what day of week is. Connor Wood's got the ball on the left hand side here, looking to try and earn something. It's blocked. Well, the cross into the box is blocked, but Evans has done well to win it back. It's come to Levi Sutton here. He's into the penalty area. He takes a shot on the left foot, but he's earned as a corner here. Twenty three minutes gone, still nil nil. We are looking lively. Corner ball for the Bantams. Then it'll be a right footed in swinger from Elliot Watt. It's a good ball into the back post. It's attacked by Paddy O'Connor, but it's over the bar. Free kick here then for Cambridge United. It's going to be probably Wes Hulahan to take it. It was looked a bit lively for Cambridge in the opening half an hour or so. But that's well over the bar, is that one? Three minutes will be added on at the end of the first half because of that injury to the Cambridge United goalkeeper. Still nil-nil here. Both teams not really creating any clear-cut chances as of yet. Still nil-nil. 
There we have it then, that is half time, Cambridge United nil, Bradford City nil, no chances really at either side, Paul Mullin had a big chance at the end of the first half and he forced a fantastic save out of Sam Hornby, he's probably been the best player so far, we need a bit more creativity, I've not really been impressed with Gareth Evans so far this game, I don't really think he's done all that much, but saying that no one in the attack really has done that much, Levi Sutton's looked as lively as per... You know, defence has been pretty solid. Finkels and Dawson's looked a bit shaky, but yeah, nil nil at the break. I think we've probably got to get Jordan Stevens on, maybe see what Roman Burrell's like. I'm not really too sure, but in Truman and Sellers, we trust. Here we have it then. We are now underway for the second half. No changes for the Bantams, I don't believe. Danny Rowe has just absolutely clattered into the Cambridge centre half. I better regret trying to block Danny Rowe off. Billy Clark on the ball here, cuts inside, he's done well there. He's laid it off to Elliot Watt. We really are get, starting to pick up our pace, try, starting to play some really, really nice football. Woods played into Danny Rowe, who's pulled back there by the referee. The referee, he, you give him some really, really soft fouls, but then you don't give blame fouls for both teams as well. He's very, very dodgy from this referee. Free kick then for the Bantams. It's going to be Elliot Watt to take it. It's a ball in towards the back post, but there's no one there. Well, actually, it got up to put a bit of pressure on there, and he's done well to win as a corner there. Still nil nil, 21 and a half minutes to go. First change for the Bantams, it's going to be Billy Clark to come off, and it's going to be Jordan Stevens to come on. First time we're going to see Jordan Stevens. For me, that should have been Evans to come off. Evans, once again, he's not done anything in a Bradford shirt, but there's just less than 20 minutes to go, and now let's see what Jordan Stevens can do. There's going to be a minimum of three minutes added on at the end of the game. It's been pretty much all Bradford in this second half. I'd, I'd said at the start, you know, I'd take a point. This point, it's going to be another nil-nil because -nil, no one likes a boring nil-nil. It's not been that boring in the second half, to be fair. There's been chances, but there's still time for either team to nick it. Two and a half minutes still to go. We've got a free kick and the three minutes is up. It looks like we are going to be drawing nil-nil away to top of the league, which is something I would have definitely taken at the start of the game. You know, against top of the league, you always got to take a point, especially when we're, we are down where we are. I believe that means we've dropped down to 20th, but there we go. That is the full-time whistle. No complaints from me. It's a shame we couldn't quite nick a goal. If either team deserved to win that game, it was definitely us. It was pretty even in the first half. Paul Mullin had a big chance in the first half and he didn't take it. The second half, though, we did have numerous, numerous chances to go on and win the game, but unfortunately, it wasn't to be. You know, we, we were tiring as time went on. It was interesting that we only made one sub throughout the whole game. You know, a couple of players weren't up to the standard. I thought Finn Cousin-Dorse and Gareth Evans, players like that, they just weren't really up to it today. You could definitely tell that we'd have 25 days off and we weren't quite up to match speed for the whole game. Danny Rowe looked very, very good, very, very promising, looks very strong, not scared to take a shot on, which is something that we've needed the past couple of years at Bradford City. But yeah, guys, that is where I'm going to leave today. If you have enjoyed a like would be massively appreciated let's try and go for 70 likes as i said at the start of the video that will be absolutely class subscribe if you are new as well i am on the road to 5,000 subscribers trying to hit that before the end of the season we move on to south end on tuesday who i believe have lost to mansfield town today timothy Dieng, former Bradford player also got sent off in that game so he won't be available for tuesday we move on to them hopefully we can pick up another three points but if we play like how we did today against any other side in the league we'll win more than we will lose you know it's top of the league you can't really complain about getting a point away from home i'll see you all in the next video peace